Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to another episode of me documenting my whole journey to becoming a six figure funded trader. This is a series where you get to witness a trader starting from no funding all the way to being a six figure funded trader, documenting the highs and lows and everything in between. Like, subscribe, comment down below, and without any further waste of time, let's get into the video. Yo, guys, welcome to episode two of me documenting my whole journey to six figure funding right so right now i am still in recovery mode where i'm still trying to get out of drawdown and if you're asking what percentage am i on in drawdown i'm negative six percent and before you say anything i've been in drawdown before this challenge started right i've been in drawdown before this challenge started so the last episode when i recorded my first episode which was the last episode I was still in drawdown, right? And these past two days, I've hit like losses, so which further made things worse, right? But we're still in recovery mode. We're not gonna give up yet. But I should say, I, sh I feel like I should say this, right? I'm saving up money to buy a bigger account. Reason being is because I'm on Equity Edge and I'm on the uh, cheapest account, which is a 2.5k, right? I feel like I'm treating this casually since I think that is a small account, right? So I'm still saving up money for getting a big account. And no, I'm not justifying the losses that I took. I took the losses. I take full responsibility of them. I'm just saying, I feel like sometimes I could just trade then go to sleep, which I've never done before with a big account. And right now I'm doing it. I think because it's a small account, but yeah, man, I'm about to update you guys. We're still in recovery mode. We're still getting ourselves out of throwdown. So yeah man hope you guys enjoyed the video like subscribe and guys follow my instagram account i'll pop the screenshot right here and yeah man right now i'm just gonna have my coffee and yeah man i'll update you guys once i'm on my trading station let's get it yeah so i'm done banking my cost right now i'm about to step on the charts and like mcfinance says another day another dollar let's get to the money you know what i'm saying so yeah but before that i just want to show you guys my let me just put my tripod on right this is how it looks we are currently trading on a a 2.5k account right and one percent of that 2.5k account is 25 dollars in it so right now i'm in negative six percent drawdown right dd throw down right so what's my plan my plan was to initially use half the risk right half the risk of this which is 12 dollars 0.5 12 dollars is half of this just to give me more chances of recovering this right but then since we are on a 2.5k account and i'm saving up to get something like a 5k or a 6k account i will not be applying this this uh, half risk right this half risk by the way i won't be applying this half risk reason being is because at this point i'm not gonna say that i don't care but at this point if i do end up failing this challenge i'm okay with it because my bigger goal is to get one of these accounts right so on these accounts is when i'm negative two percent in drawdown that is when i'll start risking half a percent right so that is the plan for this whole thing right I know there's a lot of things written here so yeah man that is the whole point of this so right now we're on something i call recovery mode this is the recovery mode right we're on negative six percent so what's the plan the plan is to get all the way to break even right so without any further waste of time let's get into the video okay guys so before i show you guys what i'm looking at for today i just want to show you um my past trades right for this challenge so during the course of three days we took three trades right 
and the AUD USD trade was the one that I took on Monday. The AUD trade, as you can see here, was the trade that I took on Monday on the last episode. If you're not familiar with this, go check out the first episode, right? So this was a short position, and and um, yeah, we took it on the fourth of November, which was on a Monday. I don't remember the stop size in pips, right? That is the risk range three, low risk, main focus. Then the trade ended up being the duration of the trade was a day, right? And this was the trade that I took. It looked like this, right? As you can see, nice entry overall. I'm not gonna lie. Fine. Took me out of break even, bro. Moving on to the next trade. The next two trades, which which ended up being both losses. On Eurocad, short position took it on the next day, which was yesterday, I think. Yeah, yesterday, which was on a Tuesday. Which was on a Tuesday, right? The stop loss was 5.2, right? It was a risk entry, low risk, main focus, fine. The trade ended up being a day right and this is how it looked like right this is how it looked like and i'm not gonna lie it took me out bro it took me out as you can see that was a one percent loss that was a one percent loss as you can see following the next trade which was also yesterday so i wasn't supposed to take this one i'm not gonna lie i wasn't supposed to take this one it was a long position and it was on the four hour i don't really trade I don't really take trades on the four hour so this one was kind of a bit risky right also took it yesterday which was tuesday um the stop loss was 29.5 that's a risk entry this was high risk because i was going to sleep and this was none of my highlighted pairs i just took a pair from um my uh, my like the normal pairs that i look for i just took it then i was like okay i'm gonna trade this one and it was at night bear in mind right which took me out today uh, I think around the morning while I was still sleeping. I don't have a screenshot for this one because it happened while I was sleeping and also ended up being a negative one percent loss. Crazy, I know. Fine. Back to what I'm looking at for today. So today I'm just looking at these five pairs, right? USD CAD. So USD CAD, I'm not gonna try and overanalyze USD CAD. I'm just looking for continuations. Come on, bro. USD CAD, I'm just looking for continuation. So I'm just looking for something like this. And a tab, then we can buy this. Then on Euro, 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 Euro GBP. Euro GBP, we're just looking for buys, right? We're just looking for a break back in, a continuation, then we go. Then Euro GBP. As you can see, we have our setup right here. So we want to see a wick. As you can see, it's forming right here. So once this wick closes, if this candle closes higher up as a beige, I would prefer a beige candle, right? I might enter this like this. Like this, stop loss there. Then our first target would be the high which will give us a 4.1 and overall target would be there fine the next one the next one i'm actually this one i'm actually in not not in but i've put my stop losses like my orders right so this one i'm just explaining it a bit into detail so we have this bottom right here right that we created we have this bottom that we created we left a gap multiple gaps so i'm looking for price to tap into this low to take us to the upside long term so i'm just looking for temporary buys i mean sales as you can see we have this overall one two three touch structure and on the third touch as you can see we had that embossed uh bullish not bullish beige candle a very impulsive candle then right now we have our continuations so i build a story behind this trade so this trade it has a story behind it right which aligns with everything so yeah i've put in as you can see i've put in my orders i'm risking 25 dollars right there as you can see 25 dollars which is like one percent and i'm just waiting to be tapped in i'm not yet tapped in the next and last pair i'm looking at is gbp usd so this one is a kind of tricky but i'm not in this one yet. i'm just waiting to see how it develops so we had this area we left the gap 
we pierced up the gap and we came back in impulsively right so we have um this um what do you call this again we have this um insurance entry a continuation a continuation it's clearer on the one minute on the five minute as you can see i don't know i think i should enter this one but something inside me tells me not to do that so yeah i think i'm gonna enter this but there's a low risk there's a like half a risk you know what i'm saying so yeah man that is what i'm looking at for today just a quick update as you can see my setup was disrespected so i'm gonna just remove it from i'm gonna just cancel the order yeah order cancelled as you can see my order was just disrespected so i think i'm gonna look for a double top seems like that's where it's headed but i think i'm gonna look at it from the one hour because the one hour is more is more weighted yeah so i'm gonna look for it on the one hour but then i, I should also be careful for this because this is a close buy area of value so we might just pop here in the vest and go back up so this one is a bit tricky i'm not gonna lie this one is a bit tricky but yeah man i still have these other pairs on watch and if all of these don't play out today then i'm not gonna take any trades you know what i'm saying i'm in the process of learning how to not take a trade you, know, you see what i'm saying so yeah man i love you guys so guys i just started watching falcon right waiting for the trades to play out so this is something that i'm i think i'm going to use when i purchase another account so as you can see this is falcon right it's a drawdown recovery right some may say that i need it that i that i need it right now but like i said guys i'm still waiting to purchase another account so once i purchase that then everything's going to change so he says that okay this is the balance right so he says that if you are above two percent if you are above two percent then you're gonna start risking one percent right then if you are two percent or lower but before negative eight percent you're gonna risk half a percent so basically putting this into simple terms he says that from break even to two percent you're gonna risk 0 0.5 percent which is half the risk and all the way to negative eight percent if you're in negative one negative two negative three negative four negative five negative six negative seven negative eight you're still gonna risk half a percent right once that doesn't work from negative eight percent to negative ten percent which is what most problems make drawdown is you're gonna risk 0 0.25 percent which is half of half a percent you know so yeah man i think this is gonna be really helpful when i'm really when i when i purchase uh another account so just to let you guys know this is what i'll be using to put this into perspective i just wrote this down right that just to put this into perspective right so this decreases your chance your chance of actually blowing your account check this out so we established that from zero percent like from break even all the way to negative eight percent you're gonna risk 0 0.5 percent right which is half a percent so in order to go from this from from uh, break even to negative eight percent you will need to make a whopping 16 losses F just to go negative eight percent from break even you need to make 16 losses fine then we establish that from negative eight percent to ten percent to negative ten percent you're gonna half the risk which is half of the half which is 0 0.25 right per trade risk for you to actually blow your account your, your profit account from negative eight percent you need to make eight losses to blow your account from negative eight percent to arrive to negative ten because usually most problems only allow mixed drawdown of ten percent right and all that in total you need to make a weapon 24 losses to 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 actually fail a problem account guys this is almost impossible to achieve this is almost impossible to achieve making 24 losses and that's not even in a row some days you know you catch profit that's not even 24 trades in a row guys this puts you ahead of everyone this puts you like 
close to impossible for 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 blowing your um profit account but the thing is some people won't apply this because they're impatient they're trying to risk one percent to make eight percent in a day right people who are impatient won't apply this this gives you better odds of not actually blowing your account i don't know if you know what i'm saying but i know what i'm saying nah guys this is this is a game changer i'm not gonna lie this is a game changer oh and i forgot to mention anything above two percent if you are two percent in profit you can start risking one percent so it's not risking 0.5 percent all the time if you are about like if you are two percent in profit then you can start risking one percent this is a game changer guys i'm going crazy yo guys so it's half past three now as you can see and there hasn't been any trades for today hasn't been any trades for today and being quite honest i'm not gonna try and um try and force a trade just to create the content because that's not who i am anymore i used to do that back then that's why i think i failed majority of the challenges that i started because i was trying to trade to provide content right so that's not who i am anymore but yeah man i guess there's still plenty of time left for today um there's plenty of time left for today i left uh, there's a hook point right here i set my alert waiting to be typed in same with this one so yeah guys i'm not gonna try and force a trade to create content if we don't see any setup we're not gonna trade that's how i want to do things from now on so yeah man i guess i'll, I'll update you guys once there's a trade or a setup